What's up, guys? We're back here again with another edition of Shed Talk. It's your boys. I'm Nate. What's up? It's Tony. How we doing? Of course, as always, this season is brought to you by... Joke's, Joke's on, on us. Joke's is on us. No, it's not. Is it? Maybe. Might be. No, it isn't. Not today. Because we have some guests actually here, but... <laughs> Yes, our our uh, our podcast is always and always will be sponsored by Jokes on Us. But um, we got two great guests here. Uh, we got our boys Frankie and Vito. Frankie is uh, the owner of Two Cousins Pizza, and we got Vito here as the owner of JoJo's. And uh, we're going to talk about some uh, some pizza. Everything today. we want to talk about any and everything. So, like you say, you do own two cousins, Sarah. So are you actually guys cousins? Cousins, we are not. Uh, believe it or not, that's actually probably the first question I get, or actually multiple times. And it's always by dipshits, too. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm a cousin. Here, here in this uh, Spanish 14 town. cousins. <laughs> <laughs> they all got an uncle. They got a veto in the family. You know, uh, the the pizza shops, the, the two cousins, like UN. They got yeah. Mexican guys working there, Italian, <laughs> American. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's a melting pot. Yeah. That's what it is. Beautiful right. melting pizza pot. Pizza brings everyone together. Pizza is the beauty of life. Right. Who doesn't love a good piece yeah. of pizza? I mean, we yeah. got pizza right here. Yeah. I haven't had any yet. You yeah, know, I'm I mean, like, you guys didn't even try slice. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm here. Dude, I'm fun, here. Yo, he's See, I up. wanted to wait until the podcast started oh, solely yeah. because this is not Dave Portnoy, so fuck all of you. <laughs> we are... You know, I want to. I wanted. To, I, I asked them both to bring us some pizza just because I wanted to see, you know, get their reaction to see. You know, if one of us rates somebody higher, just get a reaction to see what we're thinking, and so so <laughs> we'll get it on camera for sure. Frankie so made his about three hours ago. <laughs> I'm a busy guy. So you basically saying you did because you want to rate the. Never mind. So uh, all right, Fat Boy Slim, you eat the pizza. I'll I'm here for the pizza. I'm here for the episode. I'm here to have a good time. Like you get off my ass. <laughs> So I'll kick it off with y'all. So uh, I want to ask y'all, can y'all talk about like the family like background or, you know, getting into the business of, you know, making pizzas. Obviously, y'all are owners of the shop, so it's a lot more than just, you know, you make the food. So could, could you just kind of touch on, you know, how you got into the business and your background in it? You want me to start? Yeah. Um, want to start. My dad's uncle came to Brooklyn back in like 68 because mm -hmm. his sister had a grocery store there like a little bodega thing in the corner so he came over here met a guy named jojo all right while he was working at a pizza shop back I in the day see where the first jojo's yeah. was in steelton because it's steel shout out stuff. Steelton, baby yeah. so that was actually the first jojo's <laughs> him and jojo came down here started that but that one didn't work out too hot mechanicsburg you, actually it was the in one. steelton that's, yeah. why. <laughs> That's why. They said it was crazy with the steel workers back oh, in the day. Oh, dude, that would have been. But then a if you're ever driving to Mechanicsburg, you see all those factories on the right. Yeah. highway. Right. So business is all over on the West Shore. So like, Mechanicsburg is the original JoJo's. Okay. And that's where my uncle kind of took off with the brand with the guy named JoJo. Yep. JoJo yep. was more like the sales guy. He would go town to town and expand the. Because they at one point, they almost had like 50 JoJo's. Mm. Holy here, shit. All the way up to State College. So, yeah, if you go in some. These like little redneck towns and stuff oh, up I mean, north. There's still like JoJo's pizzas there. That's yeah. insane. So then my dad came over here when he was 15 because my uncle was kind of taking off with it. Mm. So in, back in Sicily, there wasn't like that much opportunity here. You could come work for like six years. Right. And eventually get your own shop, get a green card, bring a family over here. Mm. So he came here. Uh, the one in Homelstown needed somebody to kind of take it over. He ended up in Homelstown. Took that, bought it from his uncle five years later, and then that's how I'm in Homelstown now today. That's pretty dope. Now, uh, how are you going to follow that up? Yeah, man. Give me a so, story. We want to hear well, it. His, his <laughs> uncle that started two cousins with his dad, they were boys back in the day with my uncle. Oh, no shit. And they kind of split the line at Mount Joy. So okay. that's why if you ever see two cousins, stops at Mount Joy, and then Hershey starts JoJo's. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I kind of split it. Our territories. Yeah. You guys, it's good. It's you guys yeah. are good partners. That's good. There we go. Yeah, so was the old heads back in the day. They were <laughs> now I don't know this guy. He, he was at my shop tonight. He saw me a little busy. He's already looking on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. He's on Zoom. A little like, family competition oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you shouldn't tell your friends how busy you are. Yeah. Start looking on 
Slides. Yeah, right. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to shop down the street. <laughs> so what was the question again? How we started? So, yeah, how you started? started yeah. How your family yeah. started to call oh, How you got yeah. in there? So uh, my family, they, were, they come from farmer background back in mm -hmm. Sicily. And man, Sicily back then, bro, after World War II, there wasn't shit. So my dad's brother, who's older, came here. My dad saw how much money he was making just out of nowhere, uneducated. Right. I mean, my dad only up to eighth grade uh, degree, eighth grade in school. So he came here. He worked for two years with his brother. Then after two years, opened up his own pizza shop. And back then, bro, they, these motherfuckers, bro, with no money, they, they would start an empire. Yeah. Hey, you go into these small towns and just get loans, this, that. Back then, you could finance anything. Oh, yeah. So they would go in. They would find these small towns like Steelton. Uh, middle of nowhere, Newcastle, some of the most random towns I've never even heard of my dad's been in. So they would go there, open up shop, and then they would find another guy from Middle East, same shit, wanted to come to America, live the American dream. He would sell him the shop and be like, yeah, work here after this and you pay me X amount. And they would just grow, grow, grow. Right. And eventually Lancaster is like where they, my uncle started opening up two cousins pizza with his cousin mm -hmm. and my dad got into it. Then he started opening up. A lot of I, cousins. Yeah, a lot of cousins. <laughs> they center there for like mad cheap, opening up a pizza shop, trying mm -hmm. to get a lot of people to come to Texas. He's like, he's telling me like, if I would have got people to come to Texas, you'd be multi, multi millionaires. So back then, you'd be getting it for cheap. Right. That's mm -hmm. how like Papa John's and all them yeah. started because it's out west. Right. And there's no pizza shops like back here because they all started in New York. And then they slowly like branched out as like, you know what I mean? I can't open up with the shop that guy told me. Yeah. Right. So right. they went to Jersey, then middle of Jersey, South Shores, then Philly. And then they started working up their way through PA. Makes so that's why Scran has like different because those guys went instead of going south, they went uh, west. Yeah. So they went through upstate New York. And that's why they kind of do like that thicker pizza. If you've been Scran. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, they, oh, do yeah the, they love the Sicilian crust up there. Yeah, yeah Portnoy's been up there funny enough. Like, yeah. But he's never yeah. been fucking yeah. here. Like, Laxers actually has one of the highest concentration of pizza shops in the whole U.S. <laughs> Oh, oh man, shit. we're in the pizza Holy shit, magazine. there's a two cousins on every block. That's <laughs> <your guys. laughs> uh, me, me and my cousin, we always have to have a call. <laughs> two cousins, that's what it is. <laughs> but it's crazy, you know I mean? Yeah. My cousin's got the one, two cousins here, the one yeah. there, there. But eventually it was like my uncle and his cousin. <laughs> and then it wasn't yeah. a cousin anymore. <laughs> Then my dad opened up a few, and then from there it just, man, it blew up. Lancaster became the, uh, the home, and it just now it's anyone that lives in Lancaster, you say Two Cousins Pizza, man. That's they everyone know. knows it. Everybody they know knows. Everybody they know, they know, they know who the two cousins yeah, are. Yeah. It is. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not going to hold one thing that definitely stuck out to me is that, that work ethic that it sounds like y'all family had. Yo, uh, that just, yeah. That just sounds like and that, that trickles down in, in, yeah. in the process, you know. I mean, you got to have a hard work ethic with oh, that yeah. kind of shit. I mean, it's a family business well, the too. The biggest thing too is risk, man. They yeah. Scared about taking risks. They left. You got to think we're from it. Anybody that listens, to this, look up Carini, Sicily, and look at the beaches there. Yeah. Straight like California coast, mounds, the beaches. Yeah. Like that imagine beautiful. leaving that. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have much money. That's what. That's what money is the money is a motor. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Money's a big motor. A better life. Yeah, you got to figure yeah. I mean, if you're a business owner, you're a risk taker. Yep. Yeah. And if you're living were, in your country and you're an immigrant, you're a risk taker to be, to begin with. So there, there's a correlation. Uh, there. And they weren't yeah. bad over there, but not like there was like one meal a day. So you get like one pair of shoes for the year. Yeah. It's not horrible, yeah, the but. The money they made these guys here. Oh, cool. yeah. That's why they came here and they were like, shit. A lot of opportunities. But just, I mean, it was tough. If you you want to start off with a crazy story. My dad and his dad one time, my dad bought a Porsche 911. <laughs> Right, there we go. <laughs> they, they went to AC. Yeah, they were probably like young, early twenties. Right. Lost a shitload of money. On the way back, my dad's like, "Fuck! I just bought this car, man. What are we gonna do?" Set the shit on fire, bro. And just got off. What they get? Like a limo back or something? something. Just, just to explain the kind of money they were making. Um, and now we're, we're still working in pizza shops. They <laughs> <laughs> so but, they didn't leave us that good. Uh, they were good though. What babies. they did was they would work like literally like for the first. You come here when you're like 16, yeah. but like from 16 to 21, because you had to like that guy had to trust you because that's mm -hmm. how he was gonna give you the money to buy another shop. So like you learn, you start as like a dishwasher, then you be a sub guy, I then you be a pizza off. guy, then you like learn English. Guy helps you out with a green card. You start figuring that process out, get that together, and then like you needed that guy. That's why a lot of these. Guy like my dad has yeah, like his yeah. uncle and that he like considers him like yo thank you because yeah, you yeah. gave him that start here 
Because we don't have that guy that came here first. You're like nothing. You know what I mean? Right. You need that. Yeah. Somebody need somebody to give you the papers to be like, all right, if he comes here and messes up, I'll pay for it. Right. So like that's how it worked out. But yeah. those first five years from 16 to 20, these guys were like, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's an even bigger risk too because that's like a, that's a big portion of a lot oh, of people is like. When my dad first came, he wanted to call his mom and like complain and be like, yo, <laughs> like, I'm not, my I'm uncle's way too hard. Like, <laughs> so he said it to my grandma. My grandpa he gave the phone back to my uncle. My uncle's like, okay, he's done now. I hung off the phone. He's like, all right, go back to work now. Like, Yeah, I do, I do like how you said that, though, how, how you talked about that risk aspect, because, you know, you don't hear a lot of people talk about that. Oh, uh, you're leaving everything. Yeah. Imagine being 16 you and, like, yeah. home, you know what? That, yeah. And that's so crazy. It's like, because you'll hear a lot of people talk about, hey, man, like you guys said, the money over here was different. Yeah. They had a huge opportunity, but... Nobody wants to ever talk about that risk of, like y'all said, yeah. you got a pack of it, you're going leaving your leaving. friends, yeah. everybody. It's like, and, and, and back then too, yeah. it's like you can't, you can't just, yo, you know, fate, yo, you know, face cold, time, you, know, you know how much colder it is here in the wintertime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I was gonna say it's probably beautiful over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers came here in a they, they a saw they saw what these North faces were when they came over oh, and they're like, man, oh North shit. Face. That used to be. My dad said that was the craziest part. I mean, oh, it was yeah. good for one thing because all the girls were like, Italian guy, what? Yeah, right. And almost all what? But the bad part was these dudes were like not very cool back in the day. Like, yeah, yeah, it was like. I mean, you heard any immigrant story. Well, I mean, from half the, my family yeah, came from Irish. Croatia. Like, yeah. holy hell. Like, they're crazy. They're a bunch Anybody of animals. That's first to the area, you're going to take the beating for everybody yeah. else. Like, I mean, everybody, like, you guys have your areas. Like, everybody yeah. that's Croatian lives in steel. Like, oh, and yeah. all the damn steel workers where, where your family was feeding. Croatian, them. yeah. These guys are all hunkies from, yeah. from Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, everywhere. Like, that's that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Is yeah. All these, you know, people that are coming from these countries in Europe, they just pocket in one area. Yeah. They kind of just stay there. It turns into, like, not an actual mafia, obviously, but, like, it pretty much is. Yeah, like, they have to protect themselves. Community. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a close-knit community. That's how it works. That's yeah, my my great grandfathers were like on both sides. Were, came over here, and one went to Philly, did like all the construction in Philly, and the other ones were on the Verrazano and like in Brooklyn and stuff back in the day. Right. Those guys just brought the money back, though. Yeah. They didn't want to stay over here. They but, just took it uh, back over and stayed, stayed over, over there and balled for a little bit. A lot of yeah, Sicily's always been like that. Right. If you look up the history of Sicily, it's considered like not even part of Italy, really. How did you guys like? become the owners of i mean you guys are a couple years older than us and like that's amazing you guys are running businesses like how did this happen how did you just start running your own so for me it was a little bit more of a natural progression started working when i was like 16 got my license you gotta buy a car obviously my dad worked hard so he's not just gonna like be like oh yeah here you go right so i had to work a couple hours a week pay for the car it was easy job just yeah. delivering pizzas started with that then like when i was 18 one of his managers, when I graduated high school, I was supposed to go to Kutztown. Was messing around a little bit. Probably should have took it more serious going to Kutztown. But then I started working. And I was like, you know what? Manager left. I could do this. Help my dad out. Mm. I did hack for like two years. Then I went to Kutztown. Because I saw, you know what I mean? You don't want to waste that money if yeah, that's what you yeah, want. Yeah. Then I started realizing this is what I want to do my senior year. Got into that. Went to Kutztown for like a year. And then I was like, you know what? I want to go back help my parents out mm -hmm. realizing these classes they do help you to a certain extent wish i probably would have finished another year wouldn't have been bad right but being you know what let me go ahead <laughs> dive into it my parents were opening up a new restaurant called right. Maja Maja yeah. 743. okay let me go help them open that started with that like two years into that my dad was uh, about uh, 54 at that point was getting a little older mm -hmm. so i was like you know what let me because JoJo's in Homestown was a busy place. Mm. I was there at the new place, just kind of helping it grow, grow. Yeah. It was like four years at that point. So I said, I think it's time. Let me just take over my dad's place, help him out. You know, because you know what I mean to do is getting older. You get a little bit of arthritis in your wrist from oh, making yeah, pizzas yeah, yeah. every day, every day. He can't be there 60, 70 hours a week right. watching these guys. Because we're open from 10 to 10 and then 10 to 12 on the weekends. Mm. That's a Some long big schedule. Yeah, yeah. There you go. it's pretty much like a diner. I mean, might yeah. as well just open up for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, shop's busy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, might, might be on an idea right here. Yeah, yeah that's what I always pizzas. thought about it. But then I'm like, you know what? I do like those two hours I sleep between, <laughs> between going downtown and going home. True, true. <laughs> <a little> rest. <laughs> I don't need to be cooking any eggs in the morning. Right. <laughs> 
So he's just getting older. I was the oldest son, so just slid right in the position. So you Passed know what that torch. Yeah, well, slid that's right, right when the PA changed the beer delivery laws. Mm. So we had a liquor license already. So I was oh, like, dude, so they passed this. My dad, not the most tax savvy guy. So he's like, do the application process. And then he was kind of like, you know what? I don't know too much about what's going on with beer delivery and stuff. So why don't you come here? I'll give you a shot for a couple of years. If you like running it like this, like you got to be here all the time. Then we'll work it out. I do have two younger brothers, so yeah. eventually we're going to be a partnership. But yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Hey, it's a family business. Yeah, family business. Yeah, gotta keep so, it in the family and we're keep trying it to open up a couple places right now. So hey, I'm gonna say, hey, I mean, you already is, have yeah. a couple spots. Like, how my, many does JoJo's have currently? Well, my dad has the uh, Manja Manja. Yep. The JoJo's in Almost Town. Then when my brother graduated from Ship two years ago, we opened up My Way Pizza, and that's kind of like if anybody's seen like Mod. Yep. Oh we yeah. We do like that kind of yeah. style. It's like a brick oven, faster pace. So we put it right near Penn State Harrisburg. It's on Middletown Road there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, yeah, I know where you're talking about. In, yeah. And then we're going to open up probably a taco shop soon. Oh, in I remember you saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's going to be good because there's no taco places in Holmestown, Hershey area. It's no real Mexican food. Hey, you got to get into it. That's yeah. some damn good food. We need yeah. some good burritos around here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Outside like I, of Nito, I mean, there's not a really old. No, lot like a cooler, but with like a liquor. Soul burritos, no, lit. Shout, shout liquor license and like bands on the weekends. So... The amount of tequila you guys are gonna be drinking by. <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm a big tequila guy. That's what I mean. I, I can be. I try to stay away. It's not my best friend. That's my problem. Turns so. uh, from Vito to Victor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Victor Poppy. Yeah. He grows a stash yeah. 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 real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, Frank, then Frankie, can you touch on how? Uh, I, oh, you know, man, you mine, mine's the opposite of that. <laughs> so me growing up, when I was in timeout, I didn't get that get go to your room, none of that shit. I had to wash dishes, make pizza boxes. <laughs> my my dad would whoop my ass and make in. me stay in the pizza shop. Hey, so Frankie, the, the gritty do, do the gritty work. Yeah. yeah. Right. So growing up, I was like, fuck pizza shops. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna make me do pizza boxes all my life. Yeah. All this dumb man. No, but you faster so than the head. Domino's guy now though. What's that? You ever see the Domino's guy? Oh, it was yeah, on commercials. Right, yeah. He faster than him. Too, I, I can do that with my feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll look another way. Yeah. yeah. Nah, man. But uh, I never wanted anything to do with pizza shops. I saw my parents always in there working like crazy. Mm. I mean, it made good money, but still working. You always know, got employee issues. It's very demanding. Um, so I went to uh, Westchester University for finance. I was always real big into the stock market. Always, and I love it, you know what I mean? Until, until big stocks, day, yeah. Big, guy, big yeah. stocks, guy. You talk to my dad, you'll sit there CNBC for CNBC every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went into that. Then um, during my last semester, my senior year, my father got diagnosed with a uh, stage four brain tumor. Sure. Um, only give you six months to live. Luckily, he made it to my graduation. And then shortly after that, man, I... I fall into it. First of all, my whole life, I've been trying to get away from Lancaster. Right. It's great, great town, great city, everything. You know what I mean? It's got a lot to do now, but what it was 10 years ago was a whole different story. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like more of an urban kid growing yeah. up. And uh, we had a uh, driver track to the school day. And I wasn't about that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not my style. Hey, I get but, it. I mean, we, we went to high school and downtown Harrisburg I get yeah. it Bishop McDevitt back in the day was yeah, different but, but, you know what but... I mean? my, my whole vision was uh stock market make it a mm. Philly maybe uh I was a big Miami guy uh New York City any, anything besides this kind of Lancaster role yeah. type area of life but given with that my sister I have one sister she was going to university in Palermo which is Sicily two years younger than me my mom has been here as long as I've been alive still doesn't speak good English Sicilian mentality. You, you try to teach them, they don't give a fuck. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say cheesesteak, large pizza, that's it. That's all they <laughs> See what I mean? It's like, fuck. And we had two pizza shops at the time, so it's like, do I, do I just turn my back on my family and just follow what I want to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, or do I go into that and, you know what I mean, I take over because my mom barely speaks English. I, I'm not feminist or anything, but mm-hmm. pizza shop's a man's business. These employees, man, you, you're constantly dealing with employee issues. They're trying to take, you give them an inch, they take a foot. So, yeah, I mean, I went into that with the whole mindset, like, all right, I'm going to get everything stable, blah, blah, sell it. But over time, you know I mean? I started dabbling. I went into, like, buying and selling uh, restaurant equipment, making money mm-hmm. there. I got my real estate license. 
So my you whole thing. You should have told me that. You could have sold me my house. Ah, bro. <laughs> many years ago. But my whole thing was, you know what I mean? I'm going to find my, my passion, something I can do. And once I get the, the cash flow coming in, I can sell the pizza shops and do that. And then one day I just read, read this book called Outliers. It's based off the 10,000 hour theory. And just reading this book made me open up my eyes. I'm like, shit, man, I'm trying to like find something I'm good at. Whereas it's been under my nose this whole time. And you know what I mean? I'm making money. I'm killing it. Customer service, all Can't that shit. That. Ah, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, my whole life I wanted out of it. Yeah. So it's yeah. always that one random thing that just makes the dots connect. And you know what I mean? I stuck with it ever since. Um... Yeah, man, I'm here now. Yeah. And then uh, you said your uh, parents owned two shops, right? Were they uh, so? Was it like were they running both of them like together, or would it be like one of them at one shop, one of them one of them at the other shop? Like no. Nah, so uh, another story. I don't know if you want to get into it. So my parents thought I was becoming too Americanized at age 13. <laughs> so yeah. They moved us to Italy, so I went to school to Italy. So at that time, they had these other guys that had been like running, working mm -hmm. for my dad for a long time. They ran it. Man, at 17, I came back by myself. The economy went to shit. Right. 2008 financial crisis. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, we had these guys run it. Then my dad was running that shit till he got sick. Then I took over um, after he got sick. And there's 12 locations all throughout Lancaster. We got mm. one in Delaware on Route 41 that my dad opened back in the early 90s. Sure, he opened sure. one in Pittsburgh years ago. I don't know if that one's still around. Um, I mean, you guys are all over the place at that yeah, point. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, 12 in Lancaster, bro. And 12 in Lancaster, that's impressive. Bro. Like, that's a lot yeah. of shots. I mean, well, how? Nowadays, nowadays, like, that's what I mean. Nowadays, it's tough to open this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, I have a shop with another kid that we got supported by our dads to kind of do it on Lingolstown Road. The grant, the lease is like 4600 a month just for that, for a little pizza shop. Right. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, you'd like buy the whole shopping center and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So now you like pay that lease out, and he had like the same thing. He tried to do something downtown Lancaster. Lease is just so outrageous, and they promise all these things with these building permits and stuff. Right. And then when they don't come up with their results, it's not on their bag. It's on right. you to keep producing yeah. what they want on that lease. So you just end up getting like in that shopping center where I was at. Yeah. Yeah. They just every other building next to me was getting leased out again the next week because people couldn't keep up with it. Like luckily we have the other two shops kind of cover the money and you know what you're doing with pizzas mm. right him and Lancaster, he tried to open up two places the whole building just got shut down for covid what's he supposed to do now yeah. with his restaurant uh, inside I, right lost over a quarter mil man, I, man. Yeah. I just turned 30 not even a month ago <sighs> all because of uh contractors too so like they had to, i mean bro if you come location like if you saw my decor menu right. it connected all every check Bang, 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 down the list, on point. But they had told us there was going to be like 600 people working in there by the time I opened up, as well as everyone else. Right. We got a Starbucks, you know what I mean? Where Starbucks opening, you know it's going to be hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. As soon as you open up a Starbucks, every the person. whole building down. Yeah. Like, so city, man, it's <laughs> on point. imagine getting that email? Then construction, <laughs> then construction delays, then COVID-19 hit. Yeah. So I'm like, what am I here? Like... And uh, everybody in the office that is, like, offices up there that are supposed to work and all that, they're not coming back till 2021. And I'm paying top dollar rent. So I just opened this place in November. I had to shut down two places that were pieces of art that were, I was going to be financially set for life with these on top of my pizza shop and all that. COVID-19 hits. I have no other choice. Everyone's telling me, just get out of your lease if you can. I was able to get out of the lease. Got out. And now I'm back to working 78 hours a week, man. I was on the verge of like being financially set for the rest of my life. Quarter. This virus yeah. just crippled everything, just... and I'm back to look at look big pipe My, my shirt's you? actually clean today. <laughs> Normally, it's just not a lot of flour today. I changed on the way here. You yeah. still got flour. Sure. No, that was my deodorant, <laughs> bro. I threw on some <laughs> old spice for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you the whole twang of JoJo's over. <laughs> I mean, shit, damn, wow. That Those pizza are... B.O. hits way different, I'm telling you. It was crazy. Yeah? Just went in the pizza shop. Woo. I don't think you guys be able to sit next to us. This yeah, time, I don't so. know. 
Yeah, you guys are Friday outfit, man. <laughs> we we say our sneakers like we take. Our oh, I put on my good sneakers for you guys today we take, too. Um, nice Reebok. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you say when you got a pair of sneakers that are ready to retire, you take them to the beach shop. That's when you start wearing them. These were these. You were retired your Jordans. Jordans. You were like those. You wear these on a Friday, bro. They got pizza sauce, marinara. You can see everything I cooked right here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's once again. You didn't get that ten thousand hours. Why are you spilling all over your shoes, bro? Oh, you gotta keep that fast, shit tight. You must have missed a few fast. hours. <laughs> I work fast, man. Rock the non slip. Uh, 30 minute wait, I give 20. Oh, I don't know. Now, a real question. I mean, with all the business that you guys do, and obviously reaping a lot of benefit, but like, how much stress are you guys under? Like, with. I mean, owning pizza oh, shops must be crazy. nuts, and you got to deal with the employees. Crazy. You were telling me off camera, there's a lot yeah. of things you'd love to do, but... It's tough to train them, too, because that's that's your business. It right. depends on your quality employee. That's how your business is going to grow, because you right. can't do everything. Yeah. Right, what can you make? You make pizzas, you make subs, you can answer the phone. That's it. And even your delivery guys, when they go to the house, it might be it. I'm having problems with the guy wearing the mask. I'm like, bro, just wear the mask, dude, from the car to the house. Yeah. It makes everybody just feel better, like... It's, and it's, it's like not a that hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's something you can't even see. So yeah. imagine being in the shop. It's I, tough. Yeah. I, I was just getting ready to say because how you touched on like shit, the what's going on now, like COVID done closed down two stories that you said you had open. You're sitting here describing about it's how, tough. Yeah. Because yeah, everybody like, has their own political imagine. views and like views. So you have one employee that like everybody has to wear a mask. Then you got the other guy. And you're like that psychiatrist for everybody. You're yeah. like, listen, don't be <laughs> mad at him because he doesn't want to wear it. And then you go to him like, yo, bro, just put the fucking mask on, dude. It's like a four-hour shift, man. Yeah, Come yeah, on, like, like, I got a please. whole business here. I get the fine. So, yeah, definitely. So, being under all that stress, like, that is crazy. You know, they, but they do say, like, you know, under pressure, like, you know, you're going to become, like, dust or you're yeah, going to come out as a diamond, you know. So, yeah. definitely, uh, you know, I definitely got to applaud that. Now that you yeah. don't, I don't really stress about too much. Like, yeah. everything, it's like a minimal problem. You know what I mean? Like, you can figure it out. And the only Those stress is employee issues because I, mm. so I took over in 2014 and like I progressively seen that it's harder and harder to find employees. Cause you got places like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Fucking Kip can barely know how to read and you're giving them $13 an hour. Or even and, Amazon and, now. Yeah, they it's people crazy. crazy $18 money. just to deliver a few hours a week. So I mean, we got to Uber like Eats. That. Yeah, Uber yeah. Eats. So like, sure. or my dash. place, dash, bro, yeah, bro. My place yeah. the guys that delivered, you would have to like full boxes mm. and like, Maybe wash a couple of dishes, yeah. you know what I mean? At the end of the night, help everybody else out. Yeah, no, that's, I, I can relate to that because I used to work at Panera. I was working at Panera last year, just, yeah. you know, like delivery driving. So I know exactly how that turnover was for us. It was like probably every like two, three months, I'm seeing like a new driver yeah. come yeah. in and another driver going. And it's, it's so because you own Uber Eats, you just pick up the food and drop it off. So yeah. why wouldn't they try to work for Uber Eats? At your place, they got to answer the phone, help mm. you out, wash yeah. your dishes, like. But if you're working at a family business, come on, bro. Everybody helps everybody. Yeah, I'm about to say that environment. You that's gotta, what you gotta really find that family but mentality. Boy. The one thing I can say is though, it's like more of a learning aspect. So mm. like, if you come in and work for me at start at age 16 or age 17, mm. and you do one year or two years under us, and you're working under a high pressure environment in a place of the pizza shop, you know what I mean? And you're working with all types of range of customers: rich mm. people, poor people. People complaining about two dollars for a slice, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Shit. It's we we've yeah, been doing this whole life. We train these There's guys, a lot of, and I see the people that did well with us in the pizza shops are the ones that go on to be good businesses. in life. And do what I see with kids as I hired that were 16, 17 when I was just what 23, yeah. 24, mm -hmm. and now right. these kids are doing extremely well. And it's, you know what I mean? It's you learn that work out. Okay, you can tell the kids that stay with you. Teaching them a little. Those bit, are the kids right. when they go to college, they don't come back and like work for like. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you just do like a uh, landscaping job yeah. or something. Like the kids that work they for you come and stay back with and you, they come out and they're doing. They yeah. got their degree. So yeah. They're doing big things. The other ones you're that like something. you fire, they like drop out. But yeah. like shit doesn't work out. Yeah, man, you get all those intangible yeah. skills. That yeah. Although there's also a lot of people. Like I said, out. the guy that sets you up, like my dad with my uncle. There's a lot, been a lot of people that work for my dad, and now they went in on and opened up like their own restaurants, where they went to go work for like a food sales company. And because of the knowledge they learned in the shop, my dad, like now they know how to go sell food to other restaurants. Right. Yeah. And that's that's absolute yeah. raw knowledge. Like you're yeah. not going to get that in a yeah, textbook was, all the nah. time. Like yeah, that's like, something 
you just you you take over and you see you, that work ethic that yeah, the owner it's has. a it's a work and ethic. The guy yeah. he wants his business to grow exponentially yeah, because it's else, what you, he loves. If you to hang do. out with a bum, you're gonna work like a bum. Oh, exactly. I got, I got the perfect example. I've had kids that like <laughs> over the phone. I can't come in tomorrow. I got a cold or some shit like that. Bro, I've dislocated my shoulder like three times in one year, and I'm over there fucking making pizzas. Wow. I told you not to do that beer bong. It was way too long. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? People come in, they see that shit, they're yeah. like, yo, I can't call off anymore. Yeah, no, nah, and I, it's I like what you said. How about like those intangibles for sure that are definitely there? You know, one thing like we always try to do, like on here on our podcast, is just always highlight the positives. And yeah. that's like one of the positives people gotta realize, you know, that work ethic, like I was saying, work Nobody's under gonna... high pressure. You can't yeah. be soft. It's exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, like why be? Yeah. So, yeah. You because you know food service because customers are gonna be assholes to you. Oh, they're yeah, totally you know, you gotta, you gotta yeah. Like, oh, you're time. dealing with customers all yeah. damn yeah, day you know, long, and, and you, you know they to. got emotions. Yeah. That and like, like, and like they're so. having a bad day too. They're yeah. trying to get on you because you're the easy one, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah, like you said, like you never know, like those high pressure environments, like you know, like people can come in. You have a whole family, like. 15 people come in. They've been at all yeah, day yeah. in the sun. You, probably not, you might not be ready <laughs> wow. for that. And it and you might have like just y'all and two other employees. Yeah. You know? And that's probably just a crazy, hectic environment. But one thing I always used to say, my homies at Panera was when you look, when you go to clock out, you look around, it's like, yo, did you get through it? Yeah, always. Yeah. You just gotta be happy. That's you what I mean. Grind. That those big problems don't seem so big anymore. Right. It's a small problem, bro. Just be happy. I mean, I love you it. You're gonna wake up tomorrow. Yeah. You're getting up tomorrow, you're gonna do yeah. it again. God willing, you know what I mean? Like, like, evil Knievel trying yeah. to jump like 50 buses. Exactly, <laughs> right. Were you about to say Frankie? No, I'm saying, man, yeah. I love it, man. Uh, even though I've been saying like I never wanted to get into it, mm -hmm. something you grow into, but it's the employees and the future of the the work. The labor pool and everything, how mm. everything's progressing. Because, like, even now with COVID-19, it's even worse. Yeah. And it's going to keep getting worse. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. As so. technology goes, you start to realize these kids can't really communicate with other people as well. Like, they're... Oh, they're that's faces. why they're online ordering. ordering long. My online ordering, like, doubles every year. Yeah, I get kids that get panic attacks in their interview. I'm like, bro, just I've face had, yeah. face. What's going on here? Yeah, we're just talking. So, just what your name is. I've had some people not want to work at my pizza shop because it's that <laughs> high pace that they go work mm -hmm. for my brother. Oh, yeah. Because they like that Chipotle style or that mob pizza style of just, like, you take that customer, you take them down the line, and then, like, but if you, like, I had to answer the phone, and you got, like, 100 things on the menu, and they're like, yo, can I get an Italian sub, but half with no pickles, the other half with mayonnaise, but I don't want mustard on the whole thing. And you're like, dude, that doesn't even come what with mustard. What are you talking about, bro? What the hell are you These talking about? These people quiz you, man. You know what happened? Do it on purpose. That sheets, <laughs> that sheets MTO menu. Yep. Mess it up for everybody, because now you get like a sub. You can get extra, yeah. Uh, you can get extra pickles, <laughs> extra lettuce. peppers, light lettuce, <laughs> bro, sprinkle of salt. You know. Order, I'm like, yo, is this guy trying to test me? <laughs> <laughs> He's testing me. Then he comes in, then he complains. I'm like, motherfucker. I want pepper I on one side of this. Tomatoes and lettuce on the meatball corn. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and there's people that do this shit for free, like try to get free shit. I have a list that says, uh, I forget what I call it. Customers, we're, we're not on podcast here, but. If, if these guys call in, complain, and you tell them to go somewhere else, <laughs> bro, because it's like they people make uh, they do this constantly. But that's well, that's we'll see I what happens with all these chains. You go to Olive Garden, you complain. Yeah, yeah, there's you a free gift for ninety nine. Yeah. So they like train the people to do that. Back in the day, you go to Michael's shop, you complain about the Italian sub. You better run because that sub's coming right back, like Joe Montana. Like, uh, <laughs> you better know how to catch. Yeah. <laughs> there was you also better be there, right, baby. Yeah. There was also no competition. Now I'm in a uh, in a town where there's like ten thousand people, but I got six pizza shops all through right one there. mile. Oh, yeah. So you, what what they say? If I don't make it right, oh, I'll just go down the street. You're not the only pizza yeah. shop in town. Yeah, yeah but you're right. Coming. I'm the one oh, next door. Right. Yeah. As long as, as, long as you, what I've learned, as long as you're right, though. They're gonna go down there, and the quality's not gonna be as good. Yeah. And they'll be back. It's right. just they're trying we to get you over that quality. one time. Oh, it's crazy! Yeah. It's tough. Press, perseverance, man. Wasn't the storm. As long as you, know, you have to, I always you believe oh, in you your product. Go down, you want to go eat shit? Go eat shit, bro. We we got the good stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> like got that high quality pizza. Yeah. Yeah, Jojo's got that high quality. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why don't we test and see? Because I'm. Oh. I'm 
No, what are we talking about? Well, his pizza's oh, cold, yeah. yeah. But listen, I don't care if it's cold. It's cold. I think the cold will listen, taste I got a hot take that cold pizza is just as good. I'm just saying. Like that. ESPN tried that show, bro. Well, it didn't work notice, out. Yeah. <laughs> you notice, you notice you gotta go with the crazy topping just because it couldn't match my regular cheese. Oh. Well, that uh, that, see, I'm that's a stop. selling I'm point. Stop. Yeah. I should have brought the regular cheese. I was trying to be fancy. That's a selling scared. point. You know what? That's a great idea. You know we what? We do. Hold on. What? Yeah. Can, can we tell the such for the people? Listen, we do have pizza here in front of us. Like we said, we got the cheese pizza right here. What we got the old that, world grandma style. Grandma style in the middle. That thing's gonna be the cheese shit. Steak. They, all, all three look good. I'm gonna go home and eat some. I can't wait for it. I'm What's sorry. wrong with you? It's no, right in front it's of you. Summer's over, bro. Start getting more. We're good. Nah, I'm good. I'm here for Pizza's fat boy cut. season. I don't even care. I know. That's Honestly, uh, every season for you. You yeah. right? <laughs> Balkan season on that three sixty five. Yeah, he out. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, day. Uh, Man, I'm not gonna lie. This is good. How do you feel about Notre Dame not playing this year? They're playing this year. Oh, the yeah, ACC's ACC, playing. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, it's crazy. They're not even an ACC team, and they're going to win the ACC championship. I don't think yeah, so. You want to put some money yeah. on that? You bring me back in December? Yeah, yo. I don't want to say that. We can talk same. off camera about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Strictly for peanuts. Not yeah, we're, money, we're not, yeah, we're not getting... Well, it's legal to gamble in PA, so I don't yeah. give a shit. We'll talk, because I... You know what? I got full faith. Yeah. Well, now, what? You want a pizza review of this? Neil, honestly, this is some damn good cheese pizza. I'm not giving you a Portnoy review because fuck what, that. But aren't you, isn't that what? Never mind. Continue you eat the pizza. Honestly, it's it's amazing. <laughs> like it's cold. It's like cold pizza. Cold and pizza I, you know what? If cold good. pizza is right. still good, imagine what it tastes like when it's actually yeah. warm. Like that's damn let me, good. Let me pizza. ask y'all this. Uh, both of y'all, what's y'all favorite pizza to make? Ooh. You uh, have your own specialty, so you have to have something. Like, I like. You should ask her what our favorite slice to eat. All right, boom, bam. What's your favorite slice then? In the morning, that first pie you make. That's how I got a little oh, fat. Yeah. You got to try it. They say don't get high on your own supply, but I don't think that. With pizza, I think it's all right. <laughs> you got to try in the morning, right? True, true. You man, have to. That first pie that comes out. I mean, I don't know about him because I don't know when he goes and opens. He's a little lazy in the morning. <laughs> He's a little late. Like you gotta get a couple cups of coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that first pizza that comes out, that you gotta try a little sliver. Yo, that. And you know, the oven in the morning, you know, what makes agree. a good slice pie. That hot oven in the morning, it makes that bottom nice and crispy. So when you reheat it, it's always. Because you ever see that pizza? It's like white on the bottom, a little droopy. Yep. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. It doesn't hit the same. It's not. Dang, yo. Yeah, different. Got that same hit. That slice pie in the morning. What's oh, your favorite see. pizza? Bro, I'm like the kind of guy, I was like switching shit up. Some days I like onions, <laughs> some days I like a little sausage and bacon. You know what I mean? I, n- I never eat the same shit over and over. Well, guess I'm just a missionary right. guy. You always eat pizza. Straight. That's my thing. One thing I'll never eat, I'm not a fan of that buffalo chicken. I'm not a fan <laughs> of that chicken bacon. I don't know about that. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, bro. Interesting. Come on, bro. Listen, I'm a fan. I'm, yeah, that's an I'm interesting topic. I'm I'm right. so that's an interesting topic. The Italian people are with you guys. No worry. Nah, I'm uh, going to but, but, but I will say this. On both those pizzas, definitely depends on where you get it from because if you get it from a place where it's nasty... That yeah, chicken might go, be sitting yeah, there for a while. Nah, that John's nasty. Nah, you remember, Frank? That fresh grilled chicken. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm not going to sit here and uh, slander a lot of people's Listen, I yeah, don't want no slander. No slander. Yeah, yeah we're good. You know <laughs> where they are. Yeah. Yo, shout out, yeah, shout, shout out <laughs> Frank's and Boonsburg. Honestly, Frank's gave me a lot of cheese pizza back in the day. That was a beautiful thing. I used to cut the line in Bloomsburg. <laughs> but, anywho, so, in this business, I mean, you've had a lot of customers that come in. I mean, have you ever met anybody big, anybody, like, anybody random come into your shop and, like, somebody famous or anything like I that? I one. You know how they do the big 33 game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Roethlisberger came over and he had oh, the house shit. parents and they used to come to JoJo's all the yeah. time. So like they interviewed him when he went to the Super Bowl then his rookie year because that was four years later. And uh, he was like, they were like, did you like anything about Central PA? He's like, yeah, the subs at JoJo's are banging. Hey, hey, no. Thank you. Yo, I'm an Eagles go. fan, but you go, hey, go Birds. <laughs> go Birds. Go yeah. Birds. Yeah. This guy's a Steelers fan. Though, so. go, but yeah, yeah, we had the dude from uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, he used to yeah. live off UD. No in. shit. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah, Frankie, Frankie Muniz. Muniz. Wait, 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 wait. Frankie Muniz is from Harrisburg? How? Yeah. 
Damn. I love yeah. him just because his name was Frankie. Thank you, Frankie Munez. Dude, you went to five guys and lost the whole Damn, that's Kyle. Damn. Wow. Is he still when? here? Nah, he Hit him up, bro. <laughs> he left, bro. I never saw him. He came to my shop a couple times. Right? Frankie, we'll, we'll, bring you, we'll bring you next. I got you. Yeah, Frankie, we bring got you, bro. Back, Frankie. And right, they're Oscar. coming back, too. Yeah, yeah Ben yeah, Roethlisberger, you want to come Frankie. over? <laughs> Yo, We're all going to have a little party. He's going to be beggar. Who's the craziest? Who's probably the craziest customer you I ever? I don't said? get shit, bro. I'm in Willow Street, bro. <laughs> yeah, we had um. I don't even get any hot chicks to come in. Dave Matthews. Damn. Dave Matthews a couple times. That yeah, dude. Um, bro, we do. We do thousands and thousands. Bro, of thousands being of being yeah, next to Hershey, Hershey Park, Park Stadium. Yeah. Well, back in the day, see before Hershey used to like. Now they cater to like every concert, right? Because you never know from outside sources. But back in the day, it used to be like in sync when they used to come back to yeah. boys. Uh, to summer get all those, yeah, we used to get all those like 50, 60 pizzas through the night. The roadies would get them, but mm. I'm sure the dudes would snack on it though, too. Mm. That's where the branding would have came in crazy if you would have like, but in the 90s, nobody was really thinking that. You know, we had we had a lot of great shit that we just talked about. Y'all were filling us in on a lot, a lot of great stories, a lot of inspirational stories, uh, a lot of ways for people to look at working, you know, in a fast food restaurant. Or no, I was gonna say fast food in the food in food service industry in a different Quick light. Service. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's let definitely me, not fast food. Pizza takes a long time. No, fast casual. Yeah, fast fast casual. Casual. yeah. So here we are. So let me ask you this would be last question for uh what was your best experience like ever, like say like with a customer or like your best experience at the pizza shop where it made you say, Damn, like this is like this is for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I want to say there's, like, particularly one. Um, mm. I get it every day. Like, man, that was the best cheese stick I've ever had. Mm. Best pizza I've ever had. And, like, I take a lot of pride in that. You know what I mean? It's something I grew up with. And, like, we we source our cheese. The salt, pizza sauce, we make that from scratch. Mm. We get the cans. We have the oregano. We mix that. Right. Uh, the cheese, we get it in blocks. We shred it. The dough, we make that fresh every single day. We ferment it. The bread, we hand roll that every day. And you know what I mean? It's like, that takes a lot of time, effort. And when people say that, like, it's the best, you know what I mean? I get a lot of pride in that. Also, we mm. win awards every single year. Best pizza, best cheese steaks. That's a lot. And also, even bigger pride I take in is every year, um, I do a pizza party for an um, uh, orphanage kid out of Lancaster. Oh, shit. So, you know what I mean? It's great just to get those letters back. Like, all the kids enjoyed it. And, you know That's I mean? awesome. It's like... It's cool to give you know, back. I, mean, I remember as a little so, kid having a pizza party was like the best feeling yeah. in the world, and knowing that we can make those smiles and make that happen, those memories happen. That's that's what it's all that's about. All, that's yeah. exactly yeah. what it's about, that's man. It, like you see those kids, like that kids, like when I grew up, they always just come to JoJo's and they grow up. Now they bought a house in Normal Town. Now the kids are coming to JoJo's again. They'd be like, oh, I used to come when his dad used to make the pizzas or when his grandpa was there. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, like, same thing you said with the fundraisers. Staple, once you get, like, those letters in the mail, like, you do the fundraiser and they might, like, be annoying, like, set it up. and am like, yeah, we'll do this, we'll do that for you. But you want to do it because you want to stay part of the community. And that's what it's all about. That's why they call it the local pizza shop. That's what everybody goes to. That's where you hang out. Right. Right. What's the first thing when you move in a new city? What do you want? I want to try the, the best, best pizza. pizza. Yeah, right. that's the first thing. After you buy the house and you look at that property tax... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking know where's the, the best, best pizza, pizza shop yeah. because that's what I'm eating for yeah. the first night. Uh, right. Yeah. Days, every Friday, know? what do you get? Uh, pizza. Pizza night. Friday. Pizza I still night. do every pizza yeah, night that's... Friday night, but I mean, you guys bring our balls. Why can't we do it on yeah, Tuesday, yeah. bro? Everybody don't gotta come Friday, bro. Public <laughs> announcement: Start doing Pizza Tuesdays. Make pizza our lives better. I gotta, I gotta change up the team here. You know what I mean? This is a JoJo. And I made it so all my relatives could use the same hat. Not Homestown. Town. We're all JoJo's Pizza. We're all JoJo's. Yeah, JoJo's Pizza. JoJo's twenty-two. JoJo's hair. Two cousins' pizza all around. We really appreciate y'all for the insight that. Y'all gave us thanks for coming out, especially after busy day at work. Man, y'all out there on the grind, and then y'all appreciate y'all so much for taking the time stop by, give our fans a little it's insight. It's not work when you love what you do, though. Remember that? Yo, oh, yo, that's even facts. facts. Yeah. Big facts. Dang, dang. They, <laughs> they brought some some great pizza here. That's what we like I to do. I will say it's the best pizza at both spots. I mean, holy shit, I ate every one of each. It's phenomenal. So. And if we you guys stop haven't heard yet. <laughs> go stop at JoJo's. Go stop at Two Cousins if you're down in Lancaster. If you don't, you suck. I'm sorry to tell you that. Mm. But go ahead. But 
That was a hot final thought. We yeah. should just use that. Yeah, we could. That could be thought. it. <laughs> no, that was good. As always, we bring you guys the final shot thought. This week's will be brought to you by none other than me. So, I'm gonna start my shed off, shed thought off by asking you all a question. So, what's something that you can use every day? You can spend it. You can waste it. And it's hard to get back. The dollar bill in my back yeah. pocket, bro. Come on. I got you know, it. I know, the, so I know the answer. The answer. <laughs> you go Who's first. I know the answer. You said the dollar bill. And yeah, this is not stage. I swear, I actually know the answer. Old dirty bastard. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Two dollars for the hollers. No. No. What? Oh, y'all are wrong. So, here's what it is. Here's something you can use every day. You can spend it. You can waste it. And it's hard to get back. And that's time. What oh. uh, what a lot of us do is, you know, we all we all get the same twenty four hours in the day. You've heard how they spend theirs. You've heard before how me and Anthony spend our twenty four hours. You know, you get those twenty four hours, and they're hard as hell to get back. Once the minute that just passed, once that's gone, that's gone. You can't get that back. So you always want to make sure honestly. you always want to know, and make sure you're using your time as best as possible. Don't waste that shit because you can't get it back. Make sure you're spending it well with the right people, spending it to do the right things, and not wasting it on opportunities that where you're saying shoulda, coulda, woulda. Instead, when you spend that time properly, you can go out there and get it, and you're not wishing on what you woulda spent spend it on, but you're looking forward to what you're going to spend it on. So, don't waste your time. I can't believe that. That's all, that's all I got. I, I gave know. him a standing ovation. Holy hell! I, I know, know you guys can hear this yeah. on the audio tunes. I'm sorry. You should watch the YouTube channel because I've never given him a standing ovation like that. That was phenomenal. That's all I got. Honestly, a couple yeah. slices, yeah. <laughs> a couple beers, and a couple slices in. That's uh, a that was a phenomenal yeah. final shed thought. I'm not I gonna mean, lie. Yeah, that's just just true. That's the thing. Too much, too much. Was, I mean, think about it on the daily. How often you hear somebody talk about they wasted their time. Like, I mean, that's the only thing we day. bitch about yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 Fuck, I had this to do. A guy called off. I was in that Shed Talk podcast. I wasted like 30 <laughs> minutes, bro. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> but even then, like how we talked about like, when, you, when you work when you work in the uh, the quick service business, as you guys called it, how you want to look on a positive perspective. Instead of looking at how you wasted your time, you can always look at, damn, this is how I spend it. What yeah. I do to improve it? Everything's yeah. perspective, man. Exactly. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. perspective. We like to be everything. glass half full. But once again, yeah, we want to uh, we want to thank y'all for dropping by. Like we yeah, said, you know, you guys, fun. you know, like we just talked about. Yeah, it was fun. I'm not gonna help. shit. I don't know if we laughed harder. No, honestly, this has been like, uh, uh, this, this has been, been great an conversation experience. all around. With you. <laughs> Yeah, you know? neither of us got enough sleep last night, so... Honestly, neither did I. I was uh, prepping for this, and holy hell. Hey, but like you said, yeah. when you do what you love... <laughs> when you do what you up. love... I was doing what I really love last night. This is what night. we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> so, before so before we get ready to head out of here, what, y'all, this is a chance for y'all to plug y'all socials, where they can find y'all, where they can order the pizza, Grubhub, Uber Eats, I mean, call. You follow me on Instagram, A Y underscore Frank underscore a y a frank a that was my uh shout out in college at all times oh jesus hey, uh, that's hot. Yo, that's hot. i mean i had one of those but. two cousins pizza um two cousins pizza.com we're the best pizza shop in all Lancaster county if you don't believe me come try it and you'll see what's up i got the rebuttal of that come to jojo's in homestown and you don't have to go anywhere else. Just come see me. I'm always at the front. Dude with the big teeth. Always smiling. <laughs> always having a good time. Bring your sunglasses. Yeah, the this, yeah, yeah, no, it's always a bright. It's always sunny in Homestown. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we can make a TV show out of it. Yeah, yeah we should make a TV show. <laughs> yeah, when you're right. Like, oh, wow. I don't know if it's going to be on HBO and ABC, but <laughs> we'll, get one of the two. we'll get there. Hey, anyone uh, trying to do some funding, holler at us. Pizza Cartel coming at you live. <laughs> Hey, no, nah, real shit, though. If y'all are in the area, Humblestown, Lancaster, Hershey, Harrisburg area, don't be afraid to hit them up. Try the pizza. You heard Fat Boy Slim right here. There, yeah, bro. Bro. He We're said it's there. good. Three hours cold. Imagine yeah. fresh and hot. Oh, hey, now. Who are you? Where can you text him, bro? Who am I? I'm Tony Shed Talk across the board. You know where to find me. Boo, that's my saying. Boo, boo, boo. It's like, nah. Uh, but- I just say it better. Y'all know where to find me. I am N underscore Monroe 26 on Twitter. Nate Monroe full five on Instagram. You can follow me. I follow back. We love you. We like you. You like us. 
I do love y'all, though. I can't speak for Anthony. Anthony, do you love him? Only if you watch. All right, so you stink. So, no, Anthony, I kidding. love y'all. Yeah. Anthony, don't. We love you guys. You know that. Rocky loves you, too. Oh, he loves shit. his pizza. What's up, homeboy? Damn, I almost forgot. What'd you forget? We got a special announcement, damn it. So, shout out homie, D-Wall. Y'all can follow him on IG at D-Wall. So, we're doing, we're going to do a little something special for y'all. Uh, it's going to be sponsored by him. It's going to be through him. Uh, more details will come after the episode drops. We're going to do a sneaker raffle for y'all. All you have to do is when we drop the information, most likely you'll just have to drop a comment on one of our posts or one of D-Wall's posts. Comment done or something. When we get the details, we'll let y'all know. And then, boom, you'll be in our shoe raffle. So stay tuned. But make sure you listen to this episode to find out. Ah! But you're not slick. We like you. <laughs> you love us. Y'all love us. And I hurt you. Especially because I so did. so corny. Oh, well. Especially because I did this last episode, too, if anybody watched with Sling on. on. So y'all know almost, I love y'all. Yeah, I'm going to yawn this. Second. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> go eat at JoJo's or Two Cousins. And until we shed again. Mm.